YouTube. Welcome to the Excel One Workshop. I got a quick update for you guys. Okay, uh, got some more garments in. I got two of them that have ink spots on it. So this is uh, the other one that just came in the mail today. I got this one set up and there's one more coming in. So I have four. This uh, cushion paper here, I got this from um, Saga Customs. I ordered some plates. Um, I just wrapped the other one up in that back here um, you can see I kind of cut the screen out cut the screen out in there just to see if that gives it a little extra added protection in case something goes wrong um, this right here is the slash um, I didn't want to use the SP racing tires on there I checked the ones that I had that were good I had a couple of them that were brand new ones besides the, the 42s the 42s are too hard they don't grip at all so those are on the Vorza. Uh, three of the wheels on here are brand new, and I took the fourth best one, put that on there. So I'll be running those on this. Uh, this right here, they're a little taller. <clears throat> the car is still pretty close to the ground. Um, <clears throat> hopefully I won't have a problem with it as far as uh, the height of it being a little higher up but one thing I know I won't have a problem with is uh I know these wheels won't be breaking apart at high speeds I've never had a problem with it the only reason why I wanted to swap them out is because they're taller and um I'm pretty sure you know your car will roll faster if you had uh smaller tires seems like that makes sense to me so this one is ready um put a little bit more weight on the front too not too much but just a little bit more to make sure if I can avoid this thing coming up in the air all right so we got this one pop that back on there all right uh this right here is the armor like I said I put the BSRs on here I cut the wheel wells out a little bit not too much um just enough to give it some extra room for the uh the, for the foam expanding under high speeds um, still pretty low hopefully this car does what it what it should do I mean I've had some uh, hiccups with it little things going wrong and um, trying different ESCs and that not working out good so we're back to an XLX um, suspension is pretty hard everything is planted um, I would assume the car is dialed in for the most part so we'll see on sunday um speaking of sunday we will definitely be running you guys who uh want to come down who live in philly or wherever hit me up it will be the linden wall train station in linden wall new jersey all you have to do is put that in your google search and it will come up and you'll be able to click on it'll say directions you'll be able to push that and it'll automatically go into google maps and it'll bring you right on in real quick just over the Ben Franklin Bridge, it'll probably take around about uh, 10 minutes from that point to get there. But it's it's really easy to get there. Um, these are the plates I got for Saga Custom. These are for a Mugen, which my buddy Kevin is going to get. Um, here's some extra. Um, these ones weren't that great. Um but I can use them in case something goes wrong. Um, I have a couple more BSRs that I can use. Okay, let's go over here to this table. All of these are all SP racing tires. It's a very sad sight to see these tires. Uh, the foam on them are great, but they cannot be used. They cannot be used. So let me find this one. Now this one is uh, one of the pictures that I sent to um, Delta Plastics to be detailed about what's going on with these wheels. And I'm gonna show you the text messages back and forth with him. Let me see if I can zoom this in. Good, so which way is the, okay. So here's the arrow. Here's the arrow and it's pointing to a hairline crack. If you look closely, that crack is also right there where the spoke is now like I said before looking at the tire the tire is great there's nothing wrong with the tire everything is good with it so you put it on and get ready for your run and 
you, you, you'd be very optimistic about hitting high speeds, but you wouldn't have any idea what's going to happen. That hairline crack right there. So now I'm going to squeeze the wheel and open it up. If I can get a good picture of that. Let me see. Actually, you can see it better. Let me see if I can get it. It's kind of hard to squeeze this thing. Let me see. Well, I can't squeeze it with one hand. I need two hands, but you guys get it. You can see where you're going to wind up having a problem. It's going to happen right there. That is where it's going to happen. All right. Get that close up again so you can see that. So you guys know what to look for. All right, so that's one wheel. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is this another one? Okay, here we go. Once again, it's a little, you know, rough around the edges, but bottom line is this is a decent running tire. There's no chunks of foam coming out of it. Everything would appear to be good. Would appear to be good. Okay, I'll take a close look. You guys see those hairline cracks right there, All right? Take the wheel, squeeze it. And when you squeeze it, bam, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Ridiculous. That ain't good. That's wheel number two. Wheel number two, okay? Uh, it's wheel number three. Let me find it first. Now this is a 42, this one is, I, I think I ran that one time, but it's too slippery. Here's another 42, I'll be using those. All right, wheel number three. Let me find it first. Find this crack. This one has it. Let me see, that's not it. Okay, so this wheel, this one I don't see any. I don't see any in here. So that's one of the good wheels that could be used. Uh, here we go. So this is wheel number three. Like I said, I'll show you the foam. The foam is pretty good. Put a little uh, glue around the edges. But overall, you don't see any chunks out of this wheel at all. And it would appear to be a good running wheel. Until you look closely, you see the hairline crack. Squeeze it. We're gonna squeeze it. Bam! Right there. All up in there. Car flipping up in the air, doing cartwheels, just total disgust. And that's how it's gonna be. You guys look out for that. Wheel number three. Let me see this one. I got a pretty clean shirt on, so I'm <laughs> not going to use my shirt to clean this up. But basically, you guys get it. All right. The wheels would appear to, to be fine. Like I said, you look at it, you know, no no real wear, no chunks of... Uh, this one's actually a decent... This one's okay, but um, the foam started coming up on the edge. That was the deal with this one. So I didn't want to use it. I guess I could put a little glue there, but, you know... Right now, I'm just going to sit these to the side and uh, figure something out because these wheels, like I said, as far as the the ride height of them, they're perfect. They're, they're just, the GRP tire is a perfect tire, but the belt does not hold up. I see some guys still running them, doing 140 and stuff like that, and I just shiver. I don't even know which um, uh, what number they're using as far as the hardness of the rubber, but um. I, I had my um, I had my dance with them, and I will never ever use them again. But I must say this: the tire is a perfect tire size. It's small. Your car runs fast with it, and these ones are the next best thing if they can get this damn plastic to not be so brittle. They have to be able to find another plastic, be able to make these hubs out of the. The, the tire is awesome. It is awesome. Um, it feels good. It feels strong. A sturdy construction. 
the glue is good that holds the uh, the foam onto the, the, the plastic uh, hub. Everything is good with these wheels except for that. I'm, I'm even shocked that I even found that because it was driving me crazy. But um, other than that, this is the next best thing on the market. The BSRs, like I said, they're too high. Maybe these guys can can somehow somebody can get a message to them. I mean, I'm only one voice, so that that doesn't that doesn't move anything. You know, as people, they're going to keep on buying them. They're just going to keep on making them the same. They're not going to improve them. But the BSR is the tires are too it's too tall. You can still get good speeds out of it, but it could be made better. And guys like you and I, we're looking for the best tire. We're looking for a tire that's not as high, a good tire that's going to stand up to high speed, something that's not going to, you know, chunks of, of foam is not going to fly off due to the fact that the glue was poor. We're looking for a good tire and we need this. You know, this is our our hobby thing that we do on our downtime. And, um, you know, we look forward to doing this when we get a good day, let alone a day off from work. And um, this is this is what we do to, to, you know, find another side of enjoyment in our lives with these RC cars. You know, I, I get um, a great feeling, a great overwhelming feeling just to be able to build them and race them. And, you know, it's just really my thing right now. I just wish they would approve it. Uh, let me. Uh, OK, so moving on. see let's turn the phone this way so these are the pictures that I sent to Delta plastics you can see the one tired air is just like shot to hell and um, I wasn't really sure what was going on but um so I sent this picture and then he says bummer I guess these foams won't work with your setup mother sucker it's not my setup. It's your damn tires. They were working fine. And all of a sudden, I guess with the cold, the, the plastic started getting brittle and things started happening. It is a flaw. It is an absolute flaw. It has nothing to do with my setup. Okay, so we go on and on and on, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, this is before I found the cracks. All right, I was trying to order some more. And I uh, went out, had another run, and then bam. This is when I this is when I really found what was going on with it. So I'm sending him all of these detailed pictures. And uh these are the these are the first first tire. Okay, this is the second tire. Giving them very detailed on what's going on. I'm showing them pictures. The numbers don't lie. Alright? Reading it. I'm showing them the cracks. Showing them the sidewall, giving them a good view of the foam to let them know that the car, the, the, the tire wasn't beat up against the curb, crashed or bashed. You know what I mean? They, they want to use that excuse because of, the, because of the hobby. Okay. And then I go on and I text them what I'm texting them. All right. Plastic crack. If it does not hold the foam under the pressure of the velocity of the wheel spinning. And that is the reason why my car crashed that day. Okay, here's the third tire. This is the one that I showed you guys when I pointed the arrow to that crack. Now, if you didn't know about what was going on, you wouldn't pay that crack no mind at all. But catching it before the fact and then sending it to him as evidence, showing him what's going on. You know, basically, all of this evidence that I sent him, he didn't want to have anything to do with it. These people were just, here you go. Sorry, but we don't offer warranty on it. You're selling product that is warranty. You're my voice. I'm buying these tires from you. You should contact your your uh uh, uh whatever you want to call them, your supplier, and you know for the for the embetterment of having good customers come and spend their money with you, you should contact them and show them these pictures and let them know what's going on. You are our voice, but you're choosing, you know, not 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 to do anything about it. So then he goes on and say, off a warranty, we're just a reseller. You would need to contact the manufacturer for warranty info. Okay, fine. I sent these same pictures, text messages to uh, info at SP uh, Racing. Um, I just clicked it and it went right on into it. Send the email. Did that. That was four days ago. I haven't heard anything. 
I'm going to keep on sending it and sending it and sending it and sending it and showing them so we can get some good tires that we don't have to worry about taking our damn tires off of our car, checking them every time we do a run. Who wants to do that? And you shouldn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if if if, if the car crashed and the hub got cracked, that'd be one thing. But from a clean run, it just, break, it just breaks apart and sends your car twirling in the air during cartwheels. You shouldn't have to take your wheels off every time you do a speed run to check for these cracks that I found. All right. I'm, I'm, you can tell in my voice. I'm, I'm very pissed about it. I spent a lot of money with Delta Plastics. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm their, their uh, biggest customer, but it has nothing to do with that. It's the fact that I am a customer and I do buy a lot of product from you. And I'm just one of many people who buy product from Delta Plastic. You know, the, the way that, that he's trying to spin out of it, you know, he really doesn't want to get in, get into it. All right, you don't want to get into it, but you want to, you want to get our money when we order this stuff on PayPal. You don't mind, you don't mind that aspect of it. And I'm just a little disappointed in the, in the way that, that they're dealing with that. Very disappointed in it. But nevertheless, it is what it is. Guys, we are running this Sunday, like I said before. If you uh, want to know how to get down there, directions or whatever, um, inbox me and I'll tell you again. And uh, we can get down there and have some fun. This summer, I will be getting traps so that way we don't have to worry about the GPSs once again. And um, you guys can come down and run and get true speeds. All right. Peace out.